Wales Trust? The aims of the Trust were to be threefold. One, most importantly, was to find other women with lamb in New Zealand, and we knew that there would be some, and support those women. Two was to get general information to the general public about the condition, but specific information to GPs around the country, because they were the ones who were dealing with young women, as we were fast finding out, who would go into their surgeries, find that they actually were told that they had some sort of unusual asthma, which in fact they didn't in some cases. And thirdly, and most importantly for me, was to raise funds for research in New Zealand and perhaps part of some international research going on in America. And then there's copies of Scope, which is the new Nelkin thing, an inside Scope thing about them and the research. So there's copies of that for everybody. The first big thing that I did after I came back from the first ever American Lamb Foundation conference in 1999, I invited some American scientists, four of them, to come down to New Zealand and then I worked with Lisa's respiratory specialist, John Colby, and John was very helpful in putting me in touch with Australians and New Zealanders, all who were people probably not knowing a lot about Lamb, but some of whom had patients with this disease. And we managed by 2001 to set up a small conference of about 50 medical and clinical people and science people on Waiheke Island. And people came from America, Australia and around New Zealand to this very first conference. This was followed then by a follow-up conference in Auckland and another one a couple of years later in Australia. As each of the conferences happened, the numbers built up and built up. And in the meantime, I had made a lot of connections with people who were quite wonderful and amazing. Before the first conference, through Professor Innes Asher at the medical school, who was a respiratory paediatric person, she put me in touch with somebody I'd never heard of, a Professor Merv Merrilies. And Innes said to me, just call a meeting. And I said, what do you mean? I can't just call a meeting. And she said, well, you can. You just ring the medical school, you organise a meeting room, you ask Merv to come, you get John Colby to come, I'll come, you've got Christine Forster already on board, you've got this person and that person, we'll all come. And they all did. And at that meeting, Merv Merrilies, who I'd never met before, you could almost see a light bulb go on in his head. He was a heart researcher, and he'd been working in this field for over 20 years. And he said to me, what do you mean a mutating smooth muscle cell in the lung? He said, you mean the heart? And I said, no, I mean the lung. And he was extraordinarily surprised about this. And he has been, for the last 11 years, one of our primary researchers. And right now he's working with a number of people in Australia and other people at the University of Pennsylvania. And he's doing some very exciting collaborative work, which uh, is being funded part by the New Zealand Lamb Trust.